Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the best settings for your Agato device. So, uh, first of all, uh, mine isn't like actually, my Xbox isn't on, or, or if they're using PS3, but my Xbox isn't on at the moment, so it's not going to show it here. But basically, what you want to do is you want to come here, and um, then you want to, it should be on MP4 original. You want to put it to MP4 180p because, or 1080p, because then you'll get the best high quality uh, videos. Um, also below it, it says use the following actions to share videos. Um, I've only, I've unticked Facebook, Twitter, email, Apple TV, iPad and iPhone because I'm not going to share it to them, probably never. So, um, you can untick them if you want to, but that's what I've done. Everything else should be pretty much ticked, except from use the 180p for iPad and Apple TV exports, that should not be ticked. And you can also change your location of where they save, but mine just saves into the Agato folder. That you can easily find by just typing in, um, uh, Gato, and it should. Well, if I just show you mine, mine's actually right there. So I've just, uh, dragged mine. If you just, uh, find this folder, you should find it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It should, it should actually, um, pop up when you save a video as well, so that's kind of good. Then if you come to here, or if you go, when it's plugged in there should be a little button here, but if you don't turn your Xbox on and then you just go here, um, you got all this, so select your input, mine for example is Xbox 360, uh, your component or HDMI, I use HDMI because that's what my thing is, uh, the HDM colour range should be on expanded, uh, the profile should be on HD 180p, and the quality should be, it should be uh, down at good, but it should be all the way up to best, because then you get the highest quality. But if your, P if your PC isn't the best, it's probably better just to put it down to maybe better or something. But mine's going to stay at best, um, because my PC is pretty good. Uh, the stretch standard definition input should be ticked, and the uh, preserve source format, uh, this one here, should not be ticked. And then if we go to picture... Uh, the top two can stay on zero, brightness and contrast can stay on zero. The saturation, I normally put that up to around 20, uh, 25 sometimes, but 20 is good. Uh, the who I think it is, is just zero as well. Well, in the middle. So it should be just a basic. Uh, the audio thing can just stay the same. Profile thing can stay the same. And the advanced tab can also stay the same. Um, so that's pretty it, and after you've done that... Um, you're pretty much done and you can record your video and then you can share it see here i don't have uh at the share button thing i don't have much any more things because uh but what i would, what i normally do is i um save it to mp4 original or you can then do mp4 180p that you should really do but i feel that takes longer well sometimes it does take longer sometimes it doesn't but i normally just do this and uh then i just put it into movie maker because i use movie maker and it just um, helps it, helps it out, and uh, I can just render it in Movie Maker for in 180p, so then it's totally fine and HD quality. So uh, I normally don't really do 180p uh, saving it, just MP4 original saving it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it to the device uh, software. I'll put a link in the description for you to download it, guys. Uh, make sure you stay tuned on GFC for more tutorials and stuff. I'm going to get a load of tutorials up. Also, I'll be doing a setup video either. It would have been before this video or after this video. Probably before this video. And uh, you can go and check that out, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped put your settings to the best max settings you can actually do. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.